The film uses footage from Monday, February 20, 1939, and opens outside Madison Square Garden with shots of the New York City Police Department reigning in anti-Nazi counter-protesters along with a marquee that lists a pro-American rally scheduled on that night. Above a National Hockey League match and an NCAA Division I college basketball game later in the week. After a procession of flag bearers to a stage decorated with swastika adorned pennants, U.S. flags, and a portrait of George Washington. A German accented man leads the audience in the Pledge of Allegiance. Kuhn steps up to the podium and casually remarks about how he is depicted as a creature with horns, a cloven hoof, and long tail by the Jewish controlled press. As he begins to outline a program calling for a socially just white, Gentile controlled United States and Gentile controlled labor unions. Free from Jewish Moscow-directed domination, a counter-protester rushes on stage in an attempt to attack Kuhn. He is beaten on stage by the Bund's paramilitaries. And as he is hauled away by the police the footage is slowed to focus on him. The footage ends with a rendition of The Star-Spangled Banner by a German-accented woman. Before cutting to a title card noting that the rally occurred when Adolf Hitler was overseeing construction of Nazi Germany's sixth concentration camp and seven months before the German invasion of Poland and the beginning of World War II.